Hello everyone. Hello and happy Monday to all. Um, I am back. I'm officially back with my new studio set up and new creative space and I'm happy to be back guys. So a lot has been going off and going on since I've last streamed and I've missed you all. So hi everybody coming in. Uh, hi Laurie. Hello there. Um, today I'm going to be doing some uh, quick flip throughs and show of like sort of new things that I've got recently since I've last streamed and then I'm going to be showing you the current heaven issues, the dark crystal special, the Frightlands Halloween collection and we're going to be doing a colouring in the Frightlands using Derwin Ink Tense Pencils. Hi Tracy! Hello! And uh, yeah I'm just going to wait for a few people to come in and then we can get on with the show. So how is everybody? Is everybody well? Hi, Michelle. Hi Nancy. I know I always haven't seen it. A lot of people in a while. It's quite nice to see some uh, some you know faces. Uh, well, I see to see some faces, but see some names in the chat that I haven't seen for a while, and some some quite new ones as well. So hello everybody um, who've been here before, and hello anyone who is brand new. Everybody's welcome. Um, I'm, I'm very well, thank you, Michelle. I'm doing I'm doing a lot better. Um, I've had some problems with regards to my nana's health, but um, you know, thank Lord, she is okay and she's doing well. And fingers crossed that it remains that way. Uh, but otherwise, um, I'm absolutely fine, uh, and everything is fine at the moment, so that's great. And I hope everybody is is well and healthy. So, what we're going to do today? Um, so let's have a look. I've got the current heavens, which I've seen the one I'm going to be looking at today. I've got the dark crystal, I've got the frightlands, and we're going to be covering in frightlands. Um, I've got some goodies to show you as well in regards to what I've received and sort of uh, things that I've been meaning to show you. And obviously, me being away for a while, I've not had chance to. So I've got a bit of a backlog, um, as you can probably see. But I'll be as quick as I can. I don't want to. You know, you used to be sitting here twiddling your thumbs and, you know, you, you hear to see the action. That's what you want. You want action. So um, I picked up these uh, myself, which is the, I can't pronounce the name, uh, uh, Adrien, 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 Adrien uh, uh, Trafford, Adrien Trafford. Um, I saw her tarot card designs in the quiet at the start and then she has another book called The Journey. So these are the only two colouring books that she actually has. Um, the first one is by Dora Colouring Books, which are very, you know, inexpensive. I think this cost me about £2.99. But even so, they are good quality books. Um, they also do the um, Colouring Haven. Um, they do those ones, and the Colouring Haven ones are not double-sided, but, but the Dora original ones are. So these are double-sided. So I'll just do a quick look. This one's not very uh, thick, and but it's obviously it's all tarot cards designs. And you see what the tarot cards are called. So you've got the fool, the hanged man. So you can look these up on the internet and just see, you know, what the, the examples of these cards if you want to get inspiration for colours or just. Just go with your own creative instinct, whatever you, whatever flows you want. Hi, ZD. How are you doing? So these are quite, um, you know, animated, loose uh, line drawings. Um, very, very similar to sort of, I would say, 
uh, Tanya Bond sort of style, um, maybe um, sort of like a little bit Hannah Linnish in regards to the line work, uh, obviously not the eyes, uh, but I definitely see it's a sort of like Tanya Bond sort of look. Obviously, it's, it, this person has their own individual style and the way that they draw eyes and features and things like that. But as for the line work, it has that sort of vibe of Tanya Bond. So it's just quite a nice little book. And very inexpensive. If you wanted to use markers, then you could always photocopy uh, the image, scan it, and then put it on your own paper. But it is still quite nice paper, but it, obviously any sort of alcohol markers would bleed through, obviously. Um, I think water mediums should be fine as long as you don't use a lot of water. Um, pencils would be great because it has got some sort of texture, but not too much. So it is a nice little book, yeah? That is the tarot one. And then we have The Journey, which actually isn't by Dover. It's by um, Schiffer, Schiffer Publish Publishing. And this is thicker paper. And it's, I think I've got this for a steal of a price. Uh, it was only £4. And I got the last £4 copy, and then I went back up to £10. So I've got this little bit of bargain there. Um, again, same artist. Um, but this one... Again, it's double sided, but you can hear a ping. The paper is really good. So, but they are they're very lovely, very, they've got like a nice style. It's not too realistic. Um, you know, it's more illustrative, more playful. And they're all named as well. And I just got these off Amazon. React this one. Set Marie Antoinette, let the meat cake. Queen of Spades, Rebirth. So they've all got their own little names. I don't think she does. No, this is the only thing that I've seen uh, of this artist is these two books alone. And this is her, her own book with um, a publisher, and then she has one with Dover Publishing, but she hasn't really got anything standalone, like anything that's self-published, nothing like that. Um, there's not really a lot on it or about her. You can go on to Amazon and there's like a write-up about her information, um, but there's not a lot, but it is nice work. Um, I'll check the dates on these books as well to see when they were released because if she hasn't released anything in a while then it might be a case that she might not be releasing uh, colouring books in the future. So that's that, let's check the date on it. Um, so this one was printed in 2011 and then the Dover one The Dover one was published in 2014, 2015. So the last time she's published a colouring book was 2015. So it doesn't look like she might be releasing any soon since she's not really on the radar. But those books are really nice. Um, I got sent these by um, Karolina Kuboska, The Summer Memories and the Spirit of Easter. And the autumn one is coming as well. But I just want to show you these. These, these are really different and really cute. 
um, you know, they're small little packages and they've got like different sort of goodies in them. And I think our aim is to, um, she might be, she might be interested in sponsoring an event. You could, you could always see, you can find her on Instagram or Facebook and drop her a message um, and see what she says. You never know what to ask. Uh, but I think the idea that Karina is doing, she's releasing four of these. So you've got the Easter, which is your spring, your summer, your autumn, then your winter, which will probably be like a Christmas sort of images in that one. And kind of like a little parcel package where they open up like an envelope. They are pretty cool. And then it's got like a little wallet. And then inside you get a little card from Carolina, a little business card. And then you've got some colouring postcard sort of style. So these are like little A5 postcards. And then on the back there's a little note from Carolina and her hand, handwritten signature. And you can colour this as well. It's quite a nice thick card. Uh, Carolina does the Tickets to Dreams books and the Imaginary Friends, so you probably recognise those books. And she does have an Etsy store, and she sells all her books, and these are Etsy herself. Hi, Nanamo! So inside are all different little postcards we can colour. So it is done inside of a book. You can rip them out if you want to, or keep them inside. They easily come out. So I'll just quickly show you. So you've got a, a little rabbit here. It's pretty cute. So Karina's style is very etchy and sketchy, etchy and sketchy, I would say. Um, I quite like that. It's quite, uh, and sort of a, a spooky darkness feel to it sort of like especially with her uh, girls girls look sort of to me they look quite weird that they've been etched look, look sort of wooden and doll like sort of dummy doll like unless that's just my mad imagination so there's quite a few easter uh, images in here some of them more direct Easter than others. We've got a bird here drinking Prosecco. <laughs> Girls night out. <laughs> but the card is so thick, it's really good. You can pretty much use anything on these. You can keep them, frame them, or you can give them as gifts. This one's really cute, the bunny and the teacup. A lot of flowers and florals. So that's the postcards and the colouring element. And then she gives you bonuses in the back. So these you colour and cut out and you can make bunting with them. Uh, you've got gift tags. And then this, I think you... Think you cut different layers out and it creates a 3d um a 3d image when you start you, you assemble them all together yeah so you have so that'll be that'll be your background then that's uh, is there an image then you do that so you put these out that and then that at the front so that's how it should look like in the end. But it'll look 3D as you stick them down. So she gives you different little things to do and she also gives you some envelopes as well. So that's quite a fun little um, little colouring stationery kit. But then in the summer one, it is different. They are really cute, aren't they? Uh, in the summer one, it's different. She, she doesn't give you just the same stuff. She gives you different sort of stationery and things like that as well. So she does still give you the postcards to colour, but she doesn't give you the button in this one. She gives you something different. So each one has its own uh, unique um, accessories. 
So in this one, straight off the bat, you get a little to-do notebook, little post-its to do, and then you've got to remember as well. So that's quite sweet, it's quite nice to have, especially for myself, you know, I'm in the studio, I want to make lists of, um, you know, maybe like clear alongs, hashtags, streams, um, you know, colour, um, colour combinations when I'm watching somebody else live or like remember to do things. So they're included, they were very cute, very handy to have. And then this is Summer Memories. It's two seconds guys, I'm going to see if I can uh, sort out this autofocus. That works. Yeah, sorry guys, I've just had to sort the autofocus out there. And then straight off the bat, you've got loads of florals. You've got these uh, ladies in here as well. Same thickness on the cards. Got lovely deers and the stars. And I think it was great as well for this size, is that would be an A5. You're not committing yourself to a large scale image. And, you know, you'd probably be able to finish uh, the full image within the day if you wanted to um so you're not really like over committing yourself sometimes myself sometimes i can get quite easily bored with an image not to say that the image is boring um but just sort of like low attention <laughs> span sort of thing um i've got or if you've got 101 things to do and you just want an evening to just quickly uh do some coloring where you've got say a couple of hours for yourself then this is a perfect size for you to, to colour in. Hi Jude. I hope I haven't missed anyone. If I have, just tell us off. <laughs> Look at Kitty Cass. Girl reading a book and just falling asleep by the train. Another Kitty Cat. I love the deer as well. The deer's cute. This is pretty cool. You've got this girl and she's got some sort of tree. Uh, <laughs> she's got some sort of um, palm trees coming out of her hair. And her hair is waves. And then you've got fish and you've got starfish. So it's pretty. that's pretty inventive. Jellyfish. So I think this one would be great if you used like your watercolours or used your um water based markers and you know then add water on use your intense watercolor pencils that sort of thing uh lovely mermaid there so i'd really do like this one and i am looking forward to um look, i'm really looking forward to the autumn one coming through because that's got a few halloween images in there and i love anything that's sort of like horror or spooky uh like to color I absolutely love that sort of thing This one's really cute. I love this one. Yes, it's, I don't think it's Katrina, is it? Hi, Moxie Deb. Uh, it's, it's Carolina. I could, uh, I think Katrina is the one that does the um, fairy, fairy miracles books. But yeah, it's Carolina. So K-A-R-O-L-I-N-A Kaboska. Got a little bank there. Anyone who's into cycling. Now I don't know if this that's not a fox and it's not a wolf. It looks like um what do you call them? You know them cats with the really big paws, but you can actually have them as pets. Are they called are they called um I think they can wear M. Not a bobcat. Um, my cousin's got one, and his paws are like this, and he's massive. Like literally, you can, he can. Not, I don't think it's a lynx or a, <laughs> a minx. Um, oh, what the call? I'm gonna have to look at these photos.
No problem, none at all. <laughs> People are very thinking, what you two doing? Do you take and show up in your room? <laughs> People like the gossip, you know, none of them. <laughs> What the chords? Um, Maine Coon, that's the ones. Zeely, you get a brownie point. <laughs> well done. Maine Coon, that's the ones. Yeah, my cousin's got one. And I think that's what this is, is a Maine Coon cat. And literally, I am not kidding you, their paws are like this. And their bodies are probably about 12... 15 inches long, they are huge. A bit of ice cream there. So these are very nice and intricate and it looks like she does a lot of sketching in ink. They are huge, they are huge cats. So that is what you get in the summer one. So you get the colouring postcards and then you get your little to-do lists, reminders, and that's that one. And I'm pretty sure the autumn one will have its own little different accessory in there. And obviously in the Easter one, you had your button and your um, name tags, gift tags. I'm guessing the winter one will have some sort of gift tags in it as well for christmas and um, maybe some sort of card element who knows so those are available on carolina's kibiska's uh, etsy store um i'll see if i can get a link for you guys just bear with me i'm gonna i will be showing you um two more books with a flip through and then two of the books I'll just show you that I've got. You've probably seen the flip throughs of those. I don't want to bore you with them if you've seen them over and over again. There you go, that is the link for um, Carolina's uh, Etsy store where you can pick these up and she'll also have, I'll show you the other books as well. <clears throat> it's great now that I have a shelf up that I can just easily grab things rather than have to go through boxes. So Carolina also has the um, Produce uh, Stony Snoon. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's Polish. Um, she did this one. Just a quick flip. So I don't know if he's all familiar, but uh, she's very she's very cool. That was I, th I believe that was the first one. And then Ticket of Dreams, which I think are probably if you've seen this is a very thick book, ring bound, uh, ring bound thick paper. So I'll just do a quick flip. Yeah, you can't get it on Amazon anymore. And if you can, it's legit, it's expensive. It's actually much cheaper to get it from uh, Carolina Dara on Etsy. So that link, you can get them books on her Etsy store. So she sells them to you direct. So there's those, that's Ticket of Dreams. Just quick flips. Um, but my favourite of hers, absolute favourite, has got to be Imaginary Friends. This book, I would say, is a must-have. Have you seen how thick it is? I'm just going to move the camera up. Have you seen how thick that is? That is ridiculously thick. Um... 
um, again, ring bound. And this is obviously bigger in size as well. And these ones are all single sided, which is great because the other ones aren't. Um, but this one's definitely my, my favorite of hers. So if you can only get one, my my recommendation is definitely get imaginary friends out of the books because you get so much for your money. It is literally so thick. It goes on and on and on and on and on. <laughs> and on and on. <laughs> it just goes on for days and you're just spoiled for choice. And this paper will take your markers, it'll take your pencils, it'll take your watercolour, anything. So just to give you a bit of familiar with Carolina Kowalska, and she's absolutely a lovely person. I do talk to her quite often. She is a lovely uh, artist and person. Um, so that's that. Um, <clears throat> Okay, so the last quick flip through that I'm going to give to you is Selena. Selena was lovely enough to send me these books. And I just want to say a big massive thank you to Selena for sending the books to me. I love Selena. She's a lovely lady and she's a fantastic, talented artist. Um, I never got around to getting the Gothic, so she gave me that to, to show you guys the grayscale version. And then her brand new book, which is Fairy Portraits, which is absolutely beautiful book. Um, I'll just give you a quick flip of the Gothic. It's been out for a while, so you've probably seen this. Um, obviously, you've probably seen the line art version as well. So let me just get this aligned. I'm just going to go from back because then it's just quick. It's just easier for me to flip through. So I'm just going to skip through some. Obviously, these are double pit single-sided but the images themselves are repeated so you get two of each in the book and selena also does have etsy and she does pdf versions and these ones the books themselves are printed and sold on amazon i believe well they are sold on amazon but i believe they are printed by amazon as well so this one is, you know, perfect come Halloween. Your stores and your witches. So yeah, you get two sets in each. Obviously the paper's not the best. It's, it's quite fine, a bit like great space paper. But what I tend to do is if I don't use the paper inside the book, I then scan them um, and then just put it on paper that I prefer. As long as it's for personal use only. Well, Selena's amazing. She's been around for ages and she does everything. She's not just only an artist, but she's also an author. Um, and she does so many other things as well in regards to merchandise. Um, she is a very strong headed businesswoman. So, Fairy Portraits is something a little bit different from Selena. It's all line work. Um, and it's. Very, it's, it's not been adapted from any of her paintings, which is in the past is where uh, our colour books have come from. She has purposely drawn each individual image for the purpose of this book only. So it's not come from a painting that she's done. So again, you get two of each images. So you'll start with the first set and then go to the second set. Um, and these are just nice little line arts. Obviously the paper's not that bad, it is very smooth, so if you are going to use markers I would probably put a thick card behind. This one in particular, if you sign up to Selena's newsletter on her website, you sign up, she'll send you a, a free bundle set of images um, as like a freebie welcome. And also uh, every time she does have a new release, she'll send you a sample page from each book of that, of that particular release. And for this release, this was the free sample. 
So if you like this image, you want to give it a go, and uh, you just sign up, and it, you should get this one for free as part of the newsletter. So this is this week's freebie. I think Hannah Lynn does the same with her books as well. I quite this is obviously you've got a bigger size um, lady here, so you've got a plus size um, model here, which is quite nice to say, you know, diversity in a clearing book. The lines are very crisp and clean, which is quite nice as well. Um, she's, you know, there's a lot of precision in what she's drawn. From the front cover. And on the back, it'll tell you the name of that image. And I like how it's got male and female figures in here and animals and also children. And you've got a cute little baby there with a the mother. And an older lady here. It is great having a mix, so you, you know you can always just choose between your, you know you've got male male figures and females. It gives everybody a choice, you know. So that is Selena's books that she kind of sent to me. So thank you so much, Selena, for that. Um, absolutely love them. Um, just pop over to Selena's website or have a look on her Etsy store, um, or go over to Amazon and you should see tons of Selena's books there, and um, other great stuff as well. I will put a link in after the video. Um, I also got the spirit animals and the flora. Um, I'm not going to do flip throughs of these because you've probably seen them. The, you know, loads of channels have been doing the flip throughs of them. Uh, so you've seen those, but I do have those and they are very lovely images inside. Now on to a little thank you from a uh, subscriber who sent me an absolutely lovely um, gift from my wish list. Um, you know, I was so surprised and so shocked to receive it. And it just massively cheered me up because when, when then I went into operation, I was very down and gloom. And to receive such such gift, it just it just put a smile on my face. And when I had been feeling so low for a few days and full of worry. So thank you so much. Um, I'm not sure if this person wants to remain anonymous. So just if they, if they do, then I'll not say their name, but if, uh, if they want, if they are here and they want to fess up, then by all means they can, you know, let people know it was them. So the person actually sent me the Paul Rubens um, metallic watercolours, and these are not cheap. These are like £60 just for this watercolour set. And I was just absolutely flabbergasted and shocked to receive this, but overjoyed. And it's just presented so nicely in this cloth. So it's great to you know, clean everything down and polish the tin. And then it's in pink as well. Pink's a nice colour. And then you get your little holder bit here. But the main part of this is the colours that you get is just absolutely blinding. And I've stuck the lids on there just for the swatches for now. But the Colours are just absolutely wow, absolutely gorgeous. And I uh, haven't used them yet because I'm going to save them for um, a particular image and I'm also going to you know, cherish them and make them last. Um, but they are absolutely gorgeous colours. I don't know if you can see the glimmer and the reflection on them. Absolutely beautiful. So. Thank you so much, and thank you. And this person's came forward, so uh, thank you so much, none more. I do appreciate them. Thank you very much, bud. 
So absolutely will cherish those. Thank you. And I will use them on the channel at some point. So moving on to the reason why I'm streaming. Uh, coloring Heaven. So we're going to do a colouring in the Frightlands using the Intense. Um, going to be a bit of something different for me actually to colour in that because you probably know me do colour in more like realistic um, figures. It is, and such a lovely person to send it as well. So thank you so much, Nanamo. Um, I also got myself, I was watching Didi's channel before and she had loads of washi tape and I was just saying, I've just bought myself some washi tape and these are glitter washi tape. So it's washi tape or glitter. So I have cut those. So I'm going to use them as like borders and things like that. And I've got some more washi tape coming uh, from Japan. <laughs> so I'm going to have a bit of a uh, washi tape addiction, I, I believe. But these are so glittery. So um, I think a lot of you have already seen the Dark Crystal uh, special. That came out. Um, I've watched the TV series and I absolutely loved it. I loved every single second of it and I hope to do another series because it was just very nostalgic and it just brought back loads of childhood memories. So I'll just do a quick flip. Uh, all these are in the Dark Crystal colouring book anyway. Um, so there's no exclusive uh, designs in this one. But images are lovely, and if you love Dark Crystal and you love fantasy, then it's perfect for you. Again, you've probably seen a full flip through of this already, so I'm not going to do a very slow down version of a flip through. But if you do want to get this and you haven't got around to, do, to doing it yet, then the link is in the description, so just click on that. And they're also doing a three issues for five pounds. So it'll be, um, so it'll take two weeks for your payment to be um, authorised and go through for your direct debit details for a subscription. Um, and then after the, then your issue will start, after, your issues will start after that two weeks. So if it's, what's it, where are I now? September. So if you order it now, you should be just in time for the next issue. If not, it'll be the issue after. That would include the subscription. So, yeah. So the details for that are, are in the description. So the main end, because I didn't want to drag this on, because I've already been on for 40 minutes and <laughs> I've not done any colouring yet. But it's just nice to see you all guys and have a chat and, you know, get reacquainted. Um, it's been a while, so... You know, if I'm, if I'm chatting away, it's because I've missed you. So this is Frightland's Halloween uh, by Tabitha Thorpe. Um, she does a lot of sort of like um, dolls and um, jewellery and things like that. So this is the first time she's ever put her uh, Frightland's into a colouring book format. So we've got different ones here. They've got mummies, pirates. They sort of look like little voodoo dolls, don't they? They're very cute, but evil, dark voodoo dolls. <laughs> uh, the link for the Frightlings one is also in the description as well. So if you want to give that a click, that's on there. This is this, this is not part of the subscription. This is part of the... Because the way that I do it, the Current Heaven release the special every month. But this is the Color Heaven collection, which they release, I think, four times a year, about four, four or five times a year. Well, you can actually, mouse it, mouse it down, you can actually uh, go onto the website and do a store finder. There are certain um, stores in the USA that stock um, Coloring Heaven ma magazines. Um, you know, maybe check places like Michael's or... Uh, Hobby Lobby or um, what's the other one? Um, Blix maybe. But yeah, go on the website and have a look at the store finder. You'll be able to see if um, 
if there's a store near you that actually stocks it. So it saves you having to pay for the shipping. Uh, thank you so much for coming on, Jude, and then good night. It was lovely seeing you. So lo lovely little ghost that goes in here. So, so this is something so different and something that I don't normally colour on stream. But I thought, you know, do something a little bit different today and we'll use rain cans. Because I've seen some of these coloured and they look pretty cool once they're coloured. So any Barnes and Noble, there you go. Oh, don't you just feel sorry for him? This looks like a dark crystal one. <laughs> yeah, so I'm it can take up to two months, so like two months behind of certain countries, especially on the very other end of the pond, um, like Canada and Australia. It could take quite a while. Uh, for you guys to get that so often you guys will just be receiving your issues when the new issue comes out on that side of the pond sometimes uh, but they have actually upped their game in regards to dispatching a lot of people are starting to receive their books fairly quickly in comparison to what they used to um i've noticed that i, I with the subscription i tend to receive it about a week sometimes before the actual official release date Yes, it doesn't include the collection, so you'd have to purchase those separately. But if you go onto the website and use the store finder, um, you'll be able to see if any stores in your area are going to be stocking this. And then that's it. And this is the one I'm going to be covering today, I believe, is this little cute um, Viking, <laughs> this dead Viking. So I'm going to be doing this one today. I know they're all so cute. <laughs> and for some reason, the autofocus is back on. No, they're not your usual Halloween uh, images, are they? Um, but I thought I'd do this one. It's nice in the little circle here and uh, something a little bit different. And I just thought it was quite comical and cute. So we're going to do this little voodoo-ish doll. Um, he's called Valdis Norseman Zombie Zombielin, and he's the Guardian. He's a deadly berserker. This, no, it's deadly berserker with axe, sword, and shield. I die with honor in battle as I did not yield. I remain during daylight in my burial mound, guarding the gateway between the dead and earthbound. Okay. So let's get started. So I'm just trying to think of colours. So what sort of colours? I think you'd be like sort of like a greenish colour, wouldn't you? Be like a greeny yellow, maybe, um, because of been rotten in the ground. So I'm gonna get some paper to put behind. I'm 
just got some black paper here which i'm just going to put behind here for any sort of blotting and make sure that we don't get any watermarks um but i'll be doing this today in my own time i started this one from uh, mermaids and friends by mystic art mirrors mr mirrors art how, how i pronounce it um but i used the Derwent ink tens on this as well and I managed to create some sort of skin tone with it and I'm quite happy with it so far so I'm going to continue that tomorrow so I'll put it this uh, little lady here uh, and this is the image I'm going to use some of the uh, Paul Rubens on that Nanamo got me and I'm going to put some like sparkly bits on here with this um, little bit little elements on the jewels and things like that to test those out. Yes, green shotus. Oh, I've got this. Hold on. Spring green. Leaf green. So I've had that colour, but I know it's very neat. I can sort of I'll probably mix it. So um I've got the 48 wooden box set of the intense. So these are the intents that I do have. I don't have the full range. Um, I've got like an extra one, which I've got as a, a single. Um, but yeah. So if I take, I'm going to take the neon colours as well, because I think the neons are all pretty cool. So I'll take these four just for now. Uh, actually, I'll take a dark one as well. So I've got the five. So I'm taking spring green. There you are, <laughs> Tracy. Um, sun yellow, Sicilian yellow, sherbet lemon, and leaf green. I know. I wish they would photograph better as well. So I'm going to start with the docks. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use them as pencils to begin with, and then I'm just going to blend them with the water. So I'm just going to go where my shadows are going to be. And the good thing with ink tents as well, you don't have to particularly like cover an entire area or be precise because once you use the water, you're going to blend it in any way. So uh, the magic really happens when you do and we'll start blending with water so if if i really wanted to i could just do a line leave that white there and just you know mix that and make sure it goes into you know it'll cover with the the pigment will then cover that part as well so you don't have to be so precise and your blends don't have to be perfect with the dry application that's what you use the water for <laughs> Tracy and Michelle, hurry back. <laughs> no problem, Tracy. You gotta do what you'll do. If you if you need to go and get yourself a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, anything, toilet break, just just go. Just go. I'm still I'm still gonna be here. <laughs> I've got my cup of tea here, which will probably be cold, because it's always cold when I'm streaming. I just chat away and then I just forget about it. Welcome back, Laurie. Hello. Um, so, yeah. So what I'm planning on doing actually at the moment, guys, is I'm, I'm kind of wanting to revamp the channel and do a bit change. So um, if you're on my Instagram or if you're in the Facebook group, you'll notice the names changed to Colour of Sean. And I am planning for that to be changed on YouTube as well. 
the only problem is with YouTube is um, they are very different rules for name changes. And if you've edited, edited or changed your name within three months, you've got to wait uh, three months for to be able to do it again. So I'm currently waiting um, another month before I can change the name to Colour with Sean, but that's what the name will be. So at the moment, it's just Colour with Canvas slash Sean. That's the best I could do for now. Um, but yeah, it will change to just Colour with Sean. Uh, in the next four weeks because it was just getting confusing with the whole canvas thing um, and the reason for the canvas part was because when I had when I took over the Facebook group from uh, from another person who had already named it um, named it can canvas and color um, then obviously I kind of adopted that name but as time's gone on and the channels grew and uh, Facebook's grown I uh, just kind of wanted to, you know, just sh showcase it as my own platform and somewhere for you guys to come out and have, uh, to come along and hang out with me and other people. Um, so I think that's, and it's better to, you know, connect to someone's name than, you know, a nickname or an object. So I'm going to take the sherbet lemon in the center. I quite this one is quite it's very vibrant. This one. And this is sort of going to be like a so it's a highlight color. I think once I blend them together as well, it'll look quite murky, which is, you know, normally you're not wanting to achieve like a murky colour, but with this, I think it'll look pretty cool. And then I'm just going to blend them together as well. You can just blend over them with pencils also. So it'll give you like sort of like a yellowy yellow and green so what's people colouring at the moment or people or people up to and any sort of news from anyone that you'd like to share or if anyone's got any sort of events going on on their channels or anything like that then feel free to share Hi Holly, hello. You just finished? Oh, you just finished the Irene image. Oh, lovely, Anna. You're gonna have to send us a photo of that, and because uh, it was looking really good before when you sent me it, it looked absolutely superb. So I'm I'm looking forward to seeing the finished result. Because I really do think you are an amazing colorist, and you do actually, um, you know, you're you're very very modest in regards to your talent you know you don't really seem to know how talented you are and you are a superb colorist you've just posted it i'll have to check it out in a bit They do intense, do lay down so nice. They are very soft. Um, it's because they are water soluble. Any, any pencils that are water soluble will be a lot softer. So if you want to, you can just color the color color with them. I can't even speak today. Put my put my teeth back in, Sean. Um, you can color with them dry and just leave them dry. Um, you do have that option as well, but you do tend to find um, water soluble. Pencils a lot softer. It 
It is a cute image, isn't it? I don't think it's going to look as cute once I've coloured it. <laughs> it's going to look more creepy than cute. Hi, Connie. Hi, darling. How are you doing? Hope you're well. Yes, maybe some yeah, maybe some shiny black eyes. That's a good idea. I can imagine that sort of like big black um pop like what three dimensional eyes, sort of like button eyes. Maybe with a bit of blue in there for the where the lights reflecting and white. So what do you want me to do, guys? Do you want me to lay down the pencil here and then activate the water? Or do you want us to do um or do you want us to do the entire thing in pencil and then water it? Or do you want us to do the skin in pencil, all in pencil, and then water that down and do that in sections or just do it in smaller sections? Entirely up to you. No problem, Nana. I've got mine to hand as well. I just don't want you guys getting bored. <laughs> it's whatever you guys want to see. You know, if, if, if you're eager to see that the magic happen with the water, then I'm happy to show you guys. Oh, thanks, Nana. You're too kind. <laughs> it is so cute. It is this little doll. Like it's not really something I would normally go. Oh, I want to colour that, but I'm actually really enjoying it. So that's another thing as well with colouring heaven. They give you, they give you very wide range of different sort of styles and different artists to colour. And sometimes it's something out of your comfort zone. Something it's not normally something you you would go for on a certain issue. But it, sometimes if you just try it. Because you know, if you get the subscription anyway, then you know you, you've got it anyway, so you might as well try it. And you do tend to find that you end up joy, enjoying it, even though it's not something that's normally your thing. Try a little water. Yeah, I will. Just gonna get the sherbet colour and get the bottle there. And then once it, the water has dried down as well, I'll then go back in with a black pencil and just like really add depth in this part so it looks more three-dimensional. Oh, thanks, Michelle. So let's try a little bit more then, guys. We'll just go for it. Uh, where's my brushes? So I've got some water brushes here, guys. So I've just got like, the Derwent ones. Uh, it comes with a flat one, a, a, uh, like a fat one, and a, a thin one. That's the flat one. And then it comes with a little thin one as well. So I use the the big one just to dial it down. Uh, I used it before, so there's already water on the brush, so you don't have to overly wet the brush. Just want to dampen it really. 
and I do tend to find initially the best thing to do is just like kind of like sketch more you know, like a sketch more I can't, even, I can't use it sketch put my teeth back in again sketch motion so uh, as, if, as if you're sketching I really can't talk tonight. <laughs> and if it looks a little bit liney, don't worry for now. Just want to activate that ink. And then once it starts to dry a little bit, then it, that's a perfect opportunity to go back in and blend. And you just want to just keep going over it to blend. It just aligns me in that the the ink's just dissolving. Now if you want you can always take a dry brush. Stroke, that's it, yeah. You can always take a dry brush and then blend with a dry brush as well. But as long as the brush is like a soft brush, not a not a hard brush. So I quite like how that green's turned out. It looks very like a murky yellowy green, which is perfect fitting for you know, sort of like a, a rotten zombie corpse. Hi, Loretta. How are you doing, darling? Streaming stopped. I was going to say, it's fine, yeah. Yeah, just try going to refresh and see if that works. I thought my internet had uh, cut off there. I have paid the bill, but sometimes it's... I don't know why, when David's using the um, internet downstairs uh, on his phone or laptop, and then he's got the TV on, which is, you know, we use the streaming services... And then I'm up here. Sometimes it can drop, and it can drop and disconnect, and then it just takes a couple minutes to reconnect. It's a pain in the bum. Especially when you try to stream. Uh, I'm just going to get some kitchen toweling. And just wipe off the ex excess water and um, paint. Clean the brush. And as you can see, I'm not overly wetting it. I'm not constantly squeezing the barrel. Uh, I've squeezed it once and then just another time to, to clean it. Welcome back. Yeah, it's sometimes Nancy. What happens is, um, I was wondering if my internet had cut off. Um, I was saying, don't worry, I've paid the bill. But sometimes when David's watching, like Netflix or something downstairs, and he's also playing on his phone or what or whatnot, and I'm streaming upstairs. Sometimes because of multiple devices, 
it can um, put the and it can cut out and then it just takes a couple minutes for it to come back on. Um, that's the issue that I had with the laptop, so I was hoping that's not what happened. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes you just need to refresh because sometimes it can be just YouTube as well. So it's running out of uh, colour, you don't have to back off Paul. Oh, in regards to the colour in here, then no, you just, what you do is you just use the water and mix and just blend. And then if you need to add more colour, you can just go back over with the pencil once it's dry and add another layer. And then you put a go. Right, I'm going to use the flat brush now just to see if I can get this smoother. Again, I've not watered this down, this brush. I've just, just used not long ago, so it's already got the water on it. Um, you, you don't want to add too much water because you don't want your paper to um, disintegrate. You prefer the dry look? Well, we'll see. We'll see what it's like once it's blended. Oh, your gel pens run out. Obviously, when it dries as well, because it's still wet at the moment, and it's once it dries, it'll look different. Yeah, it can be used either way. So you can just use it directly and then dissolve it down. And I'll show you the other way as well on the body that you can use it. Um, if I just get the green again, I'm just going to quickly just going to quickly top up the green while it's still wet. I'm not adding pressure, I'm just going over very, very light. So, because the, the, the paper is wet, so you don't want it to break. If you do it lightly, then the water will dissolve the pigment on the pencil. And then you just go back in and then cover sort of like some patchy areas. It's not a thick paper that um, I probably have in magazine, but I'm not adding loads and loads of water. So it's, it's you know, it's a little bit buckled on the back, but um, you don't want to keep going over it. So I'm going to leave it for there for now, but it'll dry. 
Um, just going to just quickly do the lips and then leave the rest of that part dry. And then we'll just move on to the body and then I'll show you the other way you can use these. There we go. Uh, the other way you can use these is I have a palette which one side is rough and the other side is smooth. You want to use the rough side and then you can just on the rough side just swatch out your colours. And then you can just activate it water. And then you can just paint it on if you wanted to. Hi, animal. So that's another way of using them. Or you can. It does, it picks a lot better out on the rough side because the rough side with the texture, it really picks up the, uh, the lead where the smooth side is better for, um, is better for mixing, you know, palette, uh, you know, like pan, palettes, watercolors, um, or, you know, liquidized paint, things like that. Where the rough side is better for pencils and like your neo colors. Another way of doing it is to get your brush and wet the tip of the pencil. That's a good way if you wanted to like really have a dark part. We know that. <laughs> You're familiar with it this way. Yeah, there's different ways you can use them. But you just got to try different things and see what works for you. Um... Normally I would just I would normally I would do it this way and just paint it on directly. And then once it's dry you can always go back over with the pencils if you want to. I'm not the best at ink tanks, but I'm just playing around and colouring. I'm not here to show you how amazing I am. I'm just yeah, having fun and just chatting with you guys and hanging out. You're too much of a scrubber. <laughs> But I do want to get some more of the ink tents because I want to do more, um, I want to get more range of colours in them, uh, especially like more for skin tones, mixing skin tones out of them might be interesting. Uh, since I did with the Mermaids and Friends colour, I did a quite nice um, Indian skin tone. Oh, that <laughs> yeah <laughs> I blew my nose earlier <laughs> but yeah I'm just 
just uh, you just layer it as well. Um, as I say, I'm not having to use loads and loads of water. Definitely once it's dry, and then I start adding the black pencil in areas, I think it's going to really pop and make it look, uh, really bring it to life, and not as and, and make and, and so it's not as not as flat. So again, I'm just going to dip right in the end here. Get some pigment. I'm going to just have a dark part here. Yeah, that's something I need to practice with is just be be uh, be lighter with my hand. I'm very heavy handed, and I'm pretty much like you. No, no, when you're saying that you're a scrubber, like I'll, I'll, I'm I'm always trying. I'm sorry, I'm always got the the need to feel the rush, and I'm just really trying to train myself to really just slow down the pace. Uh, not to be so forceful. I do know. <laughs> it's like you feel the need to rush, <laughs> and as you need to just take take a step back and just chill and just take my time no 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 shun the beanies again Yeah, you just you've just <laughs> you've just got to you just got to try and like teach yourself, you know, and like discipline yourself really. Um, just mix, mixing some. Yeah, the good thing is why you mix the colors together as well from the color. Okay. Thanks, Nana. Like the um, obviously I'm not trying to be precise and you know, make this look super pretty because it's not it's not really a pretty image, is it? You want you I want it to look kind of like on you know like look like the undead. You prefer this technique, Nancy? Yeah, there's just different ways you can use them, isn't it? It's just it's just trying it and just seeing which way which way works. I was just saying, obviously, use the rough side to scribble on on the Caran d'Ache palette. Or if you can just get an old chopping board, you know, the plastic chopping boards. Just get an old chopping board, and that's pretty much exactly the same thing. 
Um, and as well, if you want to go a little bit darker, so if you want to outline something, then I'll just take the tip of the pencil, wet that, and then just the excess onto the brush. Um, just then do that. But I just wanted to show you the two different ways that you can use them. <laughs> gooey, yeah, gooey. Yeah, he's like the boogeyman, isn't he? <laughs> you want to adopt him? I don't know, like, because if, if, uh, I think if this doll was in person with, with the kind of color that he is, uh, it, with the color that he is, I think he's kind of got that look to him that he'd be quite smelly. <laughs> so I would, I wouldn't give him a hug. There you go, Nancy. But you got a new use for a chopping board. And you can just get like the small ones as well. So if you can see one in like a, um, you know, a department store or a discount store. You just get the little ones, like the plastic ones with the texture. Just use one of those. Exactly the same thing. And a lot of people as well use sort of like use their like ceramic plates and uh, or ceramic bowls to to mix and use as a palette as well. So you don't have to be fancy and go out and get and, and buy the most expensive palette. You can just make do what's in your cupboards if you really want to. Splat, is that what you're naming them? Splat. <laughs> you don't like using greens. But you do tend to find the most colours you get in a set, there's always loads of greens. There's always loads of greens and loads of browns. Uh, I'm just going to go over this part with this technique and see if that uh, looks any better rather than back over a pencil. He's dead and squishy. <laughs> Splat. Well, I'm not going to kiss him. <laughs> I think we need to put the eyes in as well because I think at the moment it looks a little bit strange with it not having any eyes colored, uh, colored. So if we just blacken those out, um, should we use black? Or should just make it all in intense by you know, uh, ink black. What's going to be better with the black? Is it going to be better with this or is it going to be better with... We'll try it, try it, try it both, please. Shh. 
<clears throat> yeah, there's never hardly any purples, and purple is actually my favorite color as well. So it, it is a shame that there's never like loads, there's never a, a range, a good range of purples. Um, sometimes there's a bad range of reds as well in some sets. Like sometimes you can get a a set in the red, so I have like an orangey red and there's a pinky red, but there's like not an actual true red. So I'm gonna try both ways. So a direct for pencil with the black, just to see what looks more black is if it's direct or from the palette. And if I go over the line where the white's supposed to be, then you know not to worry, I can always just use you know like a white gel pen to correct that and go over it. Okay, so that's one way. Let's try the other way. I know it's it's strange how with with the reds, there's there's always like an orangey red, there's a pinky red, and there's a brownie red. But where's the true red? You know. I'll probably once this is dry, I'll probably deepen this up with a, you know, a polychromous black or a prism of black of some sort. Because I really want it to be like probably like really, really dark black. Um, this is quite pale. No, you've just not laid it enough. But I will need to get the wild gel pen and put the highlights in myself. Because uh, watercolour is not the most is most precise and tiniest with colour. So it's great that you can use, um, you know, like your normal color pencils on top. You can use uh, gel pens on top. Uh, as for his tongue, what color should his tongue be? Should his tongue be like a brown? Should you like a brownie, a brownie color? So to do this like brownie green the brownie green yellow and then we'll add a slight touch of 
this cherry color. <laughs> well, you've got a shadow as well, haven't you? My shadow is downstairs, I think. He was with his dad, but his dad just came upstairs. Goob. Is that what we're, what we're calling him? We're calling him Goob now. <laughs> yes, he's developing a personality. <laughs> yes, Shadow likes to play with pencils. Uh, pretty much anything that rolls. Um, ribbon, loves ribbon. Um, even likes playing with my colouring pages. Likes to flip them. He is a little bugger. And guys, for those who stay with me to the very end of the stream, which is going to be, I've got another 25 minutes, I have some special news. Which is very exciting. <laughs> no, no, I think you already know. I, th I think you know. I think I've told you. Probably have. If I haven't, then I'm sorry. <laughs> I think this needs to darken a bit. Oh, poor, poor thing. Oh. Yeah, Shadow One Year Christmas. Um, we had like a big, you know, the turkey tree they have. And because it had been obviously yeah, we had left with a gravy in it. So we stooped it in uh, washing up like in hot water. Um, <laughs> and we kept it on the bench. And then above the bench was a, a, a window like a, a small window, but a high one. 
and he decided that he wouldn't jump on the window and he missed and he ended up landing in this tray of soapy water and gravy. <laughs> He's very silly. He also jumped in paint once as well when we were, when we were decorating and there was just white paws everywhere. <laughs> we had to try and catch him and to wipe, wipe his paws because he was getting white. Um, <laughs> it was, it was what, there was white paws everywhere. <laughs> He's just such a curious cat. No, oh, falling in the bathtub. Bet they didn't like that. Okay, so let's leave that bit to dry and then what we're gonna what we're gonna do. Should we do some should we do the the helmet? Um uh, got so a nice selection of greys in here actually. Greys and blues, charcoal grey, Indian ink. Um, a blue. Uh, use this iris blue. Do the horns. So horns are going to be these yellows again, and a mustard. So we'll use these three for the horns. Um, the horns, I'll just do the, the palette technique. start with the, the lightest colour. Wow, that's very bright, isn't it? Um, No problem, Dad. Oh, that is so, oh, that's so sad, Loretta. Feel so sorry for him. Oh, she, sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Feel so sorry for her. I'm definitely more of a... I'm not ashamed to say I'm definitely more an animal person than I am a people person. Like I love children as well. Like I, I've got, um, I've got a niece and I've got four nephews, but and I, and obviously baby, I do find babies cute. But if you had a, if somebody had a newborn baby and a newborn um, puppy or a kitten, then I'll probably go towards the kitten or the puppy first, <laughs> and then and then say hi to the baby. Um. 
So a lot of people will go, oh, baby, and I'll go, oh, puppy. <laughs> Well, I hope she doesn't have too many fits often. They're not nice. My friend's dog has fits as well. It's not nice when that happens. Oh, I've I've no I I know another female cat that does that. She she stands up on the back of her legs and she'll she'll reach for somebody and then she'll kneel into them to give them a cuddle. It's my mum's. It's my mum's um neighbour's cat. She's adorable. We just want to take her home. She's a she's a tabby cat. Shadow gets very jealous when he sees other cats and, and dogs. He doesn't like he doesn't like us he doesn't like having to share attention with people. He wants all the attention. It's hot outside. It's nearly 11 o'clock at night, yeah, it's, it's uh, not so warm here. It's probably about dinner time you're, where, you're, where you are, isn't it, Deb? Hi, me. You all right? Yeah, I managed to get connected eventually today. It uh, took pretty much all night and all this morning, but I eventually got there <laughs> in the end. Oh, yeah, my cousin's got a main coon and his paws are massive. And he literally can take up an entire sofa. And he's just a big, massive ball of fluff. So yeah, I'm trying to stream on a Sunday evening, um, 9 p.m. to 
11 p.m. GMT. Uh, but because I couldn't get connected last night because my camera was not connected to the new computer, uh, it didn't happen. So I've came on tonight as what normally is my time slot anyway. Well, I wouldn't say it's my time slot, but it's my the usual time that I'd come on usual day. Um, but going forward, I'm going to try doing a Sunday. If not, then I'll just do a Monday. I'll do one or the other, but I'll let you guys know. Just uh, follow me on Instagram or follow me on um, Facebook and you'll get notified. Or click the alarm bell. If you subscribe to the channel, click the alarm bell and you'll get notified. So next part would be the helmet, isn't it? You wanted the helmet coloured. Or engine ink or paint spray. So, for this, I'm going to just try it directly from the pencil. Just finding it's quicker. But I'll just lightly apply it on rather than adding pressure, so I'm not adding any pressure. Yeah, just tell me off if I if I'm going out of camera. <laughs> I just sometimes get a bit lost in what I'm doing. Oh, it's not great when you can't settle at night time, isn't it? And it's usually when you you need to be awake is when you want to sleep. Antique white. Uh, engine ink as well. Engine ink. I think that's a bit darker, isn't it? That's ink black. Engine ink. I think as well if you if uh, some people I have I've had times where I'm just overly thinking of things and that can distract me from sleeping and it's not it's not nice at all is it? And then by the time that you need to be up you're exhausted. I go for stages where I can't sleep to where I oversleep. And then sometimes I wake up more tired than I was before going to bed. I've got like five coffees just to, to wake me up and get me going. <laughs>
<laughs> I think that's pretty standard, Deb. When it's dry as well, I'm going to add some more pencil accents just so it can make it pop a bit more. Because I think just with the ink tents alone, it can look a little bit flat. Unless like you're absolutely amazing at using ink tents, then you know you won't have to. But I'm not amazing at ink tents. <laughs> I'm honest. That'd be fun to work with. It's relaxing just to see the pigment melting down and with the water and just sweeping the, the brush across the page. It's very, very soothing and relaxing. Oh, I'm always clumsy, bro. <laughs> I don't have to be tired to be clumsy. I'm always born clumsy. Exactly, me. It's nice, isn't it? It's just just so relaxing. You can just get lost, and you can just get lost in it, can't you? Sorry, is this it? Yeah. So you are. Yeah, you're right, mate. You can just get lost in it. I thought I called you uh, Deb me a minute ago. I'm just I'm just so lost in this that I'm just like not even know I'm not even know what I'm saying to people. <laughs> so if I called you somebody else, I'm sure I, I apologize. You can you and Dad can swap names if need be. Okay, so oh, he definitely has a little bit more character now. That's dry. I'm gonna get a black pencil.
I've got a black carrot, I've got a black luminance, that'll do. So I'm just going to take the black luminance and I'm just going to deepen up the eyes. Because I know I'm not going to get a chance to finish, you know me. I'm not the quickest at colouring, so when it comes to a two hour stream, chances are I'll probably not get a finish on stream. I try, I try. You can always come back to it anyway. Well, thank you. Um, and then we're going to get a white. Let's get a white. So, uh, oh. And then we've got my job pen. Oh, I've got the UV ball one because that's my favourite. So I say UV ball, not UV ball, uni ball. <laughs> UV ball. The uni ball one is pretty good. It's got a good flow and it's very opaque. That oopsie could have been much worse. <laughs> oh. Yeah, exactly. I think as well, when you're on stream, uh, I don't know, I think May might be able to relate to this. Um, sometimes you feel like, you feel the pressure, don't you, sometimes, and you feel like you have to pick up your speed and that's, that's just like me because I'm, I'm obviously I'm, I'm, I'm newer to this I'm guessing the longer I do the, the, do the streams then the more relaxed I'll get Oh, thank you. He, he's coming a little cute, isn't he? Maybe I should continue this one on Sunday. If you want me to save this on Sunday, I'll continue on Sunday, guys, and we can get more of this done on Sunday. This can be like a, a live stream, start to finish, if that's what you want me to do. I've got plenty of other work in progress that I could still get be getting on with. In the meantime, I'm, I'm not sure I'm working progresses. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you can get lost in chat, and uh, I've, been, I've, I've been known to do that before, I've been told off before. For that, it's too much to chat and not enough action. 
Oh, so well. Some people like to come in for the chat. Some people like to come in just to purely say people what they do. Um, but there's a, there's a channel for everyone. You know, I'm a bit of chat and I'm a bit of um, a bit of colouring as well. No problem, mate. Thanks for dropping in, hon, and uh, I'll see you soon. Thank you so much. <clears throat> um, so now that the eyes are getting there, Take a dark grey and then just on the edge, near the edge of the eyes. All right, you just you just you just say it as it is, don't you, hon? Just not letting it chat for a second guys i'm just gonna add the black almonds back in where they've been lost with the watercolor Snips back in nipples. And then, like I say, I was going to go into the core, like the, the outlines here, and I'm just going to add a bit of shading of black. And that's dry. Just to bring into life a little bit. Laurie, try and refresh, hon. Try and refresh you. Try, try and refresh the page. Um, I don't know where you might have accidentally clicked some out and clicked the chat off or a watch. I did that before on Didi's um, channel earlier. Uh, ended up clicking something in the the screen 
maximised and I lost the chat. Um, and I ended up clicking one of the buttons in the corner of the screen without realising. Pencils. I think the Prisma colour black is going to be better to use. It's not buffering here. Is it buffering for anybody else? Awesome. Oh, what you that's nice. Nancy, what are you colouring? What are you doing, hon? I like when people colour along with me. Not necessarily the same image, but it's just nice knowing that people are colouring and relaxing whilst, you know, hanging out together. Welcome back, Laurie. Hi Tracy. No problem, you colour a lot, you, you colour away. I'm just trying to finish up here actually, if I'm honest, because I'm over the two hour mark now. So I should really be finishing up. Um. Hmm. I think I've gone a bit hard on the black.
thank you so much um i probably will I'll just continue with this on next sunday if you want guys and then we can just do this from start to finish bring this guy to life you know um let's see how we get on i don't think i'll do it all intense though because i think we'll be here for days um just really wanted to get that sort of like murky blend for his well I'll say skin but it's more like a potato sack isn't it um Okay, so we're going to leave it dry and then we're going to uh, leave it here for now and then I'll come back to it on Sunday. So I'm going to be streaming Sundays from 9 p.m. to, uh, to 11 p.m. GMT. Uh, so it's the same time as I started tonight, just on Sunday. So I want to thank everybody who says, you know, who's been, who stayed with me and chatted away and for coming in uh, and everybody who's watched this back. So we'll continue this on Sunday. I'll put the links in for the books that I've shown uh, in the morning on this video, uh, but the links for the current heavy issues are still there uh, in the description now, and so are the links for the Do It Intense. So I just want to say thank you so much for all you lovely ladies for um, you know chatting with me and uh, hanging out with me today, and for those watching back. So see you in the next video, guys. Much love. Wow. Good night.